Hey, welcome in. Well, I find it hilarious how much the, the woke progressives hate Elon Musk. You'd think they'd like him. He brought them their electric cars. They can drive around in their Teslas and pretend to be saving the planet. And, you know, look cool, which is all they actually really care about. All of the protests that they go to, they wouldn't be at them if they couldn't take a selfie of themselves to prove they were there. I swear if there was a law passed that you couldn't do selfies anymore, which actually, you know what, that's not a bad idea. But if there was a law passed where you couldn't do selfies anymore, there'd be no more protests. Because what's the point if you can't say, hey, look at me, don't I look great at this protest? I'm, I'm saving the world, didn't you know? Look, I've got evidence. I am posing in front of a statue that got torn down. Who was the statue of? I don't know. Who knows? Probably somebody bad. Probably a fascist. Maybe it was a statue of Elon Musk. Anyway, here's the headline. Twitter employees triggered by Elon Musk buying ownership stake in platform. So let's see. Twitter employees are speaking out after it was revealed on Monday that tech billionaire Elon Musk is now one of the largest shareholders in the platform with 9.2% ownership. This comes after it was rumored that Musk might be in the market to buy Twitter and secure the holding for free speech in America. That's following CEO Parag Agrawal's claim that Twitter is not beholden to American free speech laws. Yes, he did say that. And basically what that means is that he thinks he knows better than you. Let's see, in response, some employees at Twitter took to the platform to express their unease with Musk taking such a large share of ownership. And of course they did. He's not perfectly woke. He disagrees with them on some things. You can't have that. Not on a, not on a social media platform. This is the uh, post-millennial, by the way. Uh, Twitter has been very aggressive in suppression and censorship techniques, whether against journalists who attempt to report the truth about Hunter Biden's laptop uh, to users such as Tucker Carlson, Charlie Kirk, and the Babylon Bee for expressing the biological truth of gender and sex. Musk has expressed his interest in having the platform be more supportive of the right to free speech. And you might have seen this tweet from him. Free speech is essential to a functioning democracy. Do you believe Twitter rigorously adheres to this principle? Out of over 2 million votes, 70% said no. 29% said yes. And I would say there would be uh, Twitter employees in the yes department there, but but doubtless the second they see something they don't like, they probably run in terror and go and hide somewhere and probably weep. Anyway, we have a tweet from Andy No here. Days after inquiring his followers about free speech and the lack thereof, Elon Musk has become Twitter's largest shareholder. Many leftists are concerned about what this might mean for their stranglehold on censorship policies that favor their politics. Let's see, a data scientist at Twitter is among the employees and contractors very upset that Elon Musk is now the largest stakeholder in Twitter. And what does this person say? I'm honestly kind of terrified. And then a tear emoji. Uh, she said a prominent transphobe. Is Elon Musk a transphobe? What is this? When was that ever decided? Uh, buying a large stake in Twitter is not at all funny. I think it's, they just decide to throw these things around. If there's something, he said, so, obviously leftists don't like free speech. So they'll just decide, well, he must be a train. Whatever I am, he's a, a, irrationally afraid of that. Quite strange. And actually a terrible way to live. I mean, it's got to cause an enormous amount of anxiety. Let's see, here's another one. I honestly can't tell if Twitter employees are happy or worried about the news. And I guess somebody from Twitter who's got he, him pronouns, thank goodness. Uh, my current sentiment, stock is up, yay, but what about our company culture? I don't, how is it going to change your culture exactly? What You won't be able to ban people because you don't like them? Are you worried about that? And by the way, please don't contact these people. I, I don't think that's useful in any way. Let's see. Uh, looks like I picked a good week to be off. And this is a recruiting manager for Twitter. And that's in response to Elon Musk buying a share in the company. These people are unstable, I think. Does this person drive a Tesla? I wonder. I wonder. Here we have a, a Twitter software engineer. Uh, me trying to enjoy the stock price without thinking about why. Does Elon Musk have an irrational fear of you for some reason? I, I don't understand this. These are not stable people. 
Let's see. A guy who directs creative services for Twitter uh, states his dislike for Elon Musk. Says Elon Musk just temporarily, at least, made me a lot of money, and I still dislike him. So, as far as I can tell, it's just that Elon Musk is pro free speech, and these people are against it, and they work at a place where they get to silence other people. I mean, this guy is is in creative services for Twitter, but he's not. So he's not personally getting to cancel people, but it must be satisfying for him to know that that happens at a place that he works. And it's probably the case that these people feel like it's a monoculture because anybody who disagrees with them is afraid to say it because they're afraid of getting uh, harassed and fired. And he's saying that he made a bunch of money because Twitter stock rose on the news of uh, Elon Musk buying in. Because whenever he buys something, it tends to go up in value. But he's still unhappy. And I guess the fear is that not as many people will be censored. So none of this is surprising. We see these stories from corporations all the time, from woke corporations, any corporation, actually. Every corporation has woke people in it now. And it doesn't matter how much of a minority in the company they are, right? They feel very entitled to let their opinions be known and to try and force everybody to abide by their weird authoritarian ideology. But ultimately, man, there's really nothing they can do about it. Uh, I'm sure that amuses Elon Musk to no end. Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Please subscribe, like, and share. That really helps me out. If you just like to listen, there's the audio version. It's on pretty much every platform. If you look for it, you will find it. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.